Hi everyone, it's Monica, and welcome back to TaylorMade Cards for You. Well, I almost feel like I've been missing in action because I've been so busy behind the scenes. I completely overhauled and relaunched my website, TaylorMade Cards for You, and I've been working on that for the last uh, several weeks. But I'll talk about that a little bit more at the end. But today I wanted to share with you my new April passport kit uh, release, which is called Passport to Spring. And um, while you're going to see a lot of Easter images and uh, some Easter themes in this particular passport kit, the reason I called it Passport to Spring is because it's got some really vibrant colors with some beautiful florals. So while it definitely can be used for an Easter passport card, you can certainly use it for all of your uh, spring uh, projects as well. Now in the kit, just like my other ones, you're going to get four 8.5 by 11 sheets. And this is going to be enough to create a passport card which we'll be demonstrating today but you can also create other projects and hopefully you'll check out my blog um, where my design team has created some wonderful projects uh, for your inspiration now i do have a couple of other digital images that work great with this set and that of course uh, is this bunny tag set that i'm showing you here now while it's not a part of the particular kit it certainly goes really well together and i always try to create some add-ons so that way you can have a little bit more uh, to choose from and these are going to be available in the digital section uh, of my website. And I'll make sure that I link to those below. So the first thing that you're going to want to do always with your digital images is you're going to want to go ahead and print them out. And I like to use a really nice quality paper because it will hold up really nicely when I put the cards together. And then after I have it all printed out, I like to go ahead and trim down my paper. Now this particular piece that I'm showing you here is the second page. And I wanted to note that if you are putting together the passport card, you want to leave some of that white, probably about a half an inch. Um, so that way you can use that as a fold over. Typically when we're folding over that second uh, page, we are uh, creating the crease right on the image. But for this particular kit, you're going to want to keep a little bit of white so you can use that for your crease. Now I have to tell you, I really fell in love with these colors for this particular kit. The color palette that we were working with um, were spring colors, of course, so you have a lot of your pastels, but you've got that teal throughout, and it is so vibrant when you actually get it printed out. It is just beautiful. And I love the, uh, the first page of the kit, which is what we're working on right now, which is the base of your card. So after you get your paper all cut out and trimmed, you're going to want to go ahead and get out your scoreboard, and we're going to work on our scores. Now, you turn your paper upside down so that way your um, print is um, facing down. And then you're going to want to do a couple of score lines. Your first score line is going to be at 2 and 3 fourths. And then you're going to want to go ahead and rotate it. And then you're going to want to do a, another score line at uh, 3 and a half. But your score line is only going to go to the point of that first score line that you had done. And you're going to create kind of like a little window, I, I guess you want to call it. But you're basically cutting down your first page. So that way when your card folds over, you're going to have, uh, you're going to be able to see the second page. And then um, when you open up the second page, you're going to, of course, be able to see the third page. And then once you have your paper trimmed down, you're going to want to go ahead and, of course, reinforce those creases. Now, I typically like to round my corners, so you can do uh, your rounding of your corners at this point, or you can wait till you have all of your paper cut out. Um, I have a really great tool that um, is the We Are Memory Makers Chomper, and it works great for my corner rounding. Um, so uh, when you're rounding your corners, the only corner you don't want to round is your bottom left-hand corner, um, and you're going to want that to be a straight mark. So just keep that in mind when you're going to town with your little chomper. All right, so when working on your second page, um, like I said, we had left some of that white uh, showing and it was about a half an inch. And that's where you're gonna score. Um, you wanna go ahead and score right up to the printed part. Um, and then uh, after you score, go ahead and just reinforce again the line, uh, or the fold I should say, um, and then you'll be ready to put your card together. Now, I typically will use my ATG gun, but you can use any type of adhesive. Um, I probably wouldn't recommend liquid adhesive. Um, just make sure that it's really nice, strong adhesive so that way your pages aren't coming apart. And then when you are placing your second page in, uh, make sure that you are testing the fold because if you get too close to that score line, then your card won't fold closed. So just kind of keep that in mind when you're adhering your second page. 
All right, so now it's time to work on the pages that don't have any of the prints. And those are the pages when you actually open up your passport card. In this kit, you should have plenty of paper once you print out all four eight and a half by 11 sheets to uh, create your passport card. But if you find that you are using uh, one type of pattern more than the other, you can certainly just reprint um, what's gonna work for you. Whenever I create these passport kits, um, you've probably seen them before. It's the same process over and over again. Uh, but I do like to give you some inspiration and some ideas. But certainly this is only one idea and one uh, way that you can put the card together. You can kind of mix and match the paper and create your own style. Um, but you should definitely have enough to create um, one card. And again, if you run out of paper, just go ahead and reprint um, what you've been using up. Now I've been creating these passport cards for several years now, so I really don't measure it with my ruler anymore. Um, I pretty much just kind of line it up against the back of my page and then I just trim as I go. But if you need to have some measurements, uh, your measurement for this particular piece is gonna be about four inches, uh, maybe a little bit less because I like to show some of that white on the edge as well. And then for your height, you're looking at about five and a quarter. And again, just leave a little bit off. Um, if you use that page that has the four uh, prints, it's pretty close. So I would just go ahead and cut those down and then just put it up against your third page and do some measuring to just trim it up a bit. And then once you have it trimmed exactly to the size that you need, you can go ahead and create your pocket. And your pocket is gonna be about two inches um, tall uh, and then about four inches of course wide, but just measure it up against your back page. Now the one thing that you're not getting in this uh, kit is washi tape. But I like to use washi tape to reinforce my pocket. And you want to do this before you actually adhere it to the base of your passport card. So uh, go ahead and get some nice strong adhesive. And I'm using this red line adhesive uh, that I've shared with you before. Whenever I have a pocket or something where I'm going to be pulling ephemera inside and out, you want to make sure you have a nice secure pocket. And if you've never used this red line tape before, I do have it now in my uh, shop. So I'll make sure that I link to that. Uh, but you can get it also at Tonic Studios, I believe. Um, so I'll leave both links for you. So go ahead and add your red line tape or any strong adhesive that you might have. And then uh, make sure that you leave the top of your pocket open because you don't want to close that. And then go ahead and add it to your panel. And then once you get it added to your panel, then you can go ahead and use your washi tape to kind of uh, go across the top portion and fold around the uh, edges. And then at that point, once your pocket is adhered to the panel, then you're ready to adhere it to the base of your card. Now remember, before you actually adhere it to the base, you wanna go ahead and round those corners. Um, and again, you're gonna round the top left, the top right, and then the bottom right. And then leave the bottom left uh, unrounded um, because that's gonna be your, your uh, corner, of course. All right, so once you get your back page adhered, um, you're gonna wanna go ahead and start working on the other pages. And your process for the most part is exactly the same. You're just gonna pick out the cardstock you're gonna wanna work with and then measure it against your page and then trim it down and then adhere it. Um, and this, these are the pages where you can add little tucks um, to tuck your ephemera in. I didn't do it on this particular card, I just, uh, pretty much put my ephemera in the pocket and on the pages, but you can create little tucks um, as well to add your ephemera. So as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, I have been working behind the scenes to relaunch my website. Um, the blog that I was using before was on blogspot.com and then my Etsy shop uh, where I had all of my ephemera, of course, was in Etsy. Uh, but I wanted to create a uh, platform where I can house everything together. Uh, so I decided to go ahead and put together my own uh, website with the help of, of my husband, of course. Um, he kind of helped me put everything together. Um, so now when you go to tailormadecardsforyou.com, um, not only will you find my videos, um, but I'm able to actually attach the video to uh, the product in my shop. So if you see something that you like, like the passport card, I'm gonna have a link right to the video and it will just make it kind of like a one-stop shop. Um, so you'll be able to see all my blog posts, you'll be able to see the videos, and then of course, you'll be able to see my store. Now I am still in the process of loading all of my products, but I have all of my passport cards in there. Um, and 
I'll have some other fun sections as well. Um, you know that I am a, a vintage inspired crafter. So uh, living in Prescott, Arizona, I have uh, the privilege of being around lots of antique shops and lots of thrift stores as well. And I like to go on hunts and find some nice uh, vintage ephemera that I can use for my crafting. So I do have a uh, vintage section as well um, that I hope that you'll check out. So be sure to check out my uh, new website, tailormadecardsforyou.com. And I hope that you subscribe to my uh, mail list as well as to the shop. So that way uh, it will be easy for you uh, if you do decide to purchase some of my digital images or even some of my product. Now I will be keeping my Etsy shop open for a while because I definitely want to have the opportunity to attract new crafters. Um, but if you are familiar with me and if you are comfortable with uh, some of the items that I do provide for you, um, I would love for you to check out my tailormadecardsforyou.com shop and uh, purchase your digitals through there. Um, I will be offering sales through my website um, probably more often than I will in my Etsy shop. So you probably will get a better deal through my website. So um, hopefully you'll register and sign up for my mail list. So that way you can be uh, informed and keep informed of all of the uh, happenings over at TaylorMade Cards for you, along with some of the coupon codes. Okay, so now that we've got the card completely put together, um, where it's time to get to my favorite part of the card, and that, of course, is adding the pieces of ephemera. And some of the pieces that you're going to find th in this kit are actually from uh, postcards and images that I found locally here in Prescott, and I've just pretty much scanned them and uh, sized them down. This little postcard here is one of them that I found, and it is really cute. Um, it's an Easter saying, um, and it has a great graphic, and I was able to scan it and clean it up and use it for my kit. So I hope that you enjoy some of the ephemera uh, found in this kit this month. Now the official release for this kit is actually April the 1st and you're going to be able to see all of my design team inspirations tomorrow on my blog. But the kit is already in the shop so be sure to check it out and I'll leave links below for you as well. Now this is a special month. Not only are we doing the Passport to Spring kit but I'm also going to do another release on April the 15th and that's going to be um, my Mother's Garden kit. And this is going to be a kit where you can create a beautiful Mother's Day card. And for that release, I'll definitely do another video um, and I'll keep you guys informed as to when that will be available in the shop. So as always, I'll leave a list of all the products that I've used to create the card along with the links to the stores. If you've enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Uh, like I said, I've been really busy with the behind the scenes of my website, but now that it is up, I hope to be able to get back to my video making and my crafting to provide you more inspiration. And as I said before, um, if you haven't checked out my new website, be sure to go to tailormadecardsforyou.com um, and let me know what you think. All right, everybody. Thanks so much for stopping by and we'll see you again next time.